celebrating his record eighth French Open title. Rafael Nadal beat fellow Spaniard David Ferrer in straight sets 6-3, 6-2, 6-3. It is his 12th career Grand Slam title, and it makes him the first man in history to win the same tournament eight years. Now, this victory was particularly sweet because Nadal had just returned to the game in February after being sidelined for months with a knee injury. And World Sports Amanda Davis sat down with him after his win. It's a phrase we're getting quite used to. Rafael Nadal, French Open champion. And again, we say, I'm joined by the eight-time Roland Garros champion. Congratulations. After everything you've been through over the last 12 months with your injury, what is your overriding feeling now? Well, thank you very much. Yes, just uh, very special for me to have this trophy with me in our time. Uh, the the special the, the feeling is you know very emotional oh, a lot of people supported me a lot and helping me a lot during this this period of time and um, i received hundreds of messages uh, that gave me a lot of positive energy and helped me a lot so i just can say thank you very much everybody who really supported me because of them i have this trophy with me in all the time and how difficult was it playing david ferrer a friend a teammate Somebody who, for him, it was his biggest moment of his career. At the end, we are professional tennis players. You know, we are competitors. Both of us wanted to, to win. David is a, is a great, good friend, and he's a great person. A great example, I think, for the kids. He, 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 he's a, war, a fighter. He's a worker. And um, he deserved to be where he is today. And happy for him to be. To he, he was in front of me on the final. Sorry for him today, but uh, I, I really hope that he will have no chances in the future. I must just ask you about the protester who came onto the court. What was your reaction? How did it affect mm. you? Well, this no, it didn't affect me. You know, I was a little bit scared at the beginning because I, I didn't see. You know, it's very, everything is very quick out there. No, and uh, I, I saw just somebody coming with some fire, so I was a little bit scared at the beginning. But it's, there's things that is impossible to are impossible to predict, and just can say thank you very much all the security guys. They did amazing work, and uh, I, I really felt safe immediately. Whatever happened, it doesn't take away from a <laughs> phenomenal achievement. Rafa Nadal with Amanda Davis for CNN in Paris. Thank you very much. And that eighth French Open win has propelled Nadal ever higher into the list of tennis all-time greats. Nadal has now won 12 Grand Slams. That is more than Andre Agassi, more than Bjorn Borg, and more than Rod Laver. And he's now level with Roy Emerson and behind just two men, Pete Sampras and Roger Federer. Now, Brazil is counting down to the 2004.